The Chiefs dropped a tough one on Sunday, but they'll have a chance to get back on track this week as they take on the Buffalo Bills in a showdown between two of the top teams in the AFC on Monday night. The Chiefs and Bills come into this week's matchup with just two losses between them, as both teams are coming off their first losses of the year after each started 4-0. It's also yet another clash between head coach Andy Reid and one of his former assistant coaches, as Sean McDermott, who worked for Reid in Philadelphia for a decade, patrols the sidelines in Buffalo. Reid's extensive coaching tree is well documented, but it's also worth mentioning that he's found success against his old assistants. Reed is 13 and 6 in these matchups during his career, and he'll be looking for a 14th win on Monday. Patrick Mahomes will play a big part in that as he aims to throw a touchdown for a 16th straight regular season game. Mahomes' 15 game streak is the longest active streak in the NFL and is tied for the franchise mark, so a touchdown pass against the Bills will mean yet another record for Mahomes. One guy Mahomes will be looking for in this one is Travis Kelsey, who made some history last week. With 539 grabs now for his career, Kelsey moved past Dwayne Bowe for the second most catches in franchise history, behind only Tony Gonzalez. The guy is so consistent too. Kelsey has recorded at least 50 receiving yards 33 times since 2018, the most of any player in the NFL. Both Mahomes and Kelsey will be facing a Bills defense that has plenty of playmakers but has struggled at times this season. Buffalo posted the second best scoring defense in the NFL last year, but so far this season, they're allowing more than 28 points per game. One interesting thing to watch on Monday will be the Bills' tendency to blitz. They've blitzed opponents more than 30% of the time this season, and as we've already seen this year, Patrick Mahomes thrives when the defense brings extra guys in the pass rush. That will be a key area to watch in this one. On the other side of the ball, Bills quarterback Josh Allen is off to a strong start this year with 14 touchdown passes and just three interceptions, two of which occurred last week against Tennessee. Now in his third season as a pro, Allen looks to have taken a big leap from year two to year three, particularly as it relates to his accuracy throwing the deep ball. His overall completion percentage is up more than 10 points when compared to last year, and his 22 completions of 20 or more yards rank fourth in the NFL. For context, Allen threw just 47 passes of 20 or more yards in 16 games last season, so he's already halfway there through just five contests. Interestingly enough, the Bills don't run the ball much, but they've thrown the ball out of play action the third most times of any team in the league. They're also really good on third down. They're converting nearly 60% of their third down chances, the top mark in the NFL, so that will be another key area to watch throughout Monday's game as the Chiefs defense looks to get back on track. Lastly, this will mark the Chiefs' third Monday night game in four weeks, a rarity when it comes to scheduling. The last time this happened was way back in 1946, so it's been a while, but after winning each of their previous two Monday night games this season, the Chiefs have a shot at a third victory this week in a matchup between two of the best teams in the AFC.